Right. We are given a system of three forces acting on an object P of mass 0 0.5 kg. The magnitude of two forces are given. The magnitudes of two forces are given, 2.5 Newton and 2.6 Newton. Their directions are also given with the angle beta given as uh, tangent beta is 7 over 24. So using Pythagoras right angle triangle, you can get the hypotenuse. And the 2.6 Newton is also given its magnitude and the angle is alpha, tangent alpha is given, uh, 12 over 5. So we can write the hypotenuse as 13. So again, to summarize the question, we are given two forces, uh, 2.5 Newton and 2.6 Newton and their respective directions. And we are given a third force which is F Newton acting on an angle theta as shown. So we are told that uh, this system is in equilibrium. And we are asked to find F and theta. So let's start slowly. Since this system is in equilibrium, the sum of forces in the x direction will be 0. So let's resolve the forces here itself. So I have my 2.5 cos beta and I have 2.5 sin beta and here I have 2.6 cos alpha, 2.6 sin alpha and here I have f cos theta and here I have f sine theta. So what have I done? I have resolved all the forces and now we should be able to write the summation of forces in the x direction is equal to zero because in an equilibrium situation the resultant uh, in any direction will be zero. So let's take care of that first. I have got uh, 2.5 cos beta plus 2.5 cos alpha will be equals to f cos theta. So f cos theta, let me write it here, will be 2.5 cos beta. Uh, we can pick the number from the triangle, 24 over 25 plus, this is 2.6, excuse me, 2.6 cos alpha. So let's write 2.6 cos alpha will be 5 over 13. Now when you clean this up, you will get f cos theta, I've used the calculator, and you'll get f cos theta equals to 3.4. So that's equation number one. Use a calculator to help you along. And then let's look at the sum of forces in the y direction is zero. So we will have 2.5 sine beta plus f sine theta will be equals to 2.6 sine alpha. So we can write f sine theta equals sine alpha will be 12 over 13 and I have to minus 2.5 sine beta will be 7 over 25. So pick the numbers up from the right angle triangle. So when you clean this up, use a calculator, you will get f sine theta, I worked it out, as 1.7. So we have two equations, two unknowns, we can easily solve it. So if you take um, 2 divided by 1, you will get sine theta over cos theta will be equals to tangent theta and that will be equals to 1.7 over 3.4 will be equals to 1 over 2. So that's one of the answers. They ask you to find tangent theta, so leave your answer as 1 over 2. Uh, to find f, now that you know tangent theta, one way of handling it is if you set up a right angle triangle, tangent theta is 1 over 2, so this will be square root of 5. So use one of the equations, f cos theta equals to 3.4, so you can write f times, what is cos theta? 2 over square root 5 equals 3.4. Use a calculator, you'll get the value of f as equals to 3.80 Newton. Yeah? Just use a calculator and you'll get 3.80 Newton. One other way for you to do it would be to 
uh, take equation 1 square both sides take equation 2 square both sides and you add them up you're going to get uh, an equation which involves sine squared theta plus cos squared theta which is 1 and you can still find the value of f okay we're done with the first part in the second part of the question they ask you to remove the force f and when you remove the force f so let's make a couple of notes here they ask you to remove f and you're asked to find the resulting acceleration you're asked to find its magnitude and its direction so first let's understand the physics let's look at the system of forces the initial system that's given to us without this force f so if you have only if you only have a two force system that is a 2.5 newton and a 2.6 newton you're going to get a resultant somewhere along here okay i repeat if you ignore this force f if you only have a two force system you are going to have a resultant in this direction so to bring this system into equilibrium that is why we have to add a force in this direction so that this three force system is now in equilibrium okay that's the concept in physics so now what happens is if you remove this force f you're going to have a resultant in the opposite direction yeah we have f here in this direction so now if you remove this you're going to have a resultant in this direction so the magnitude of the force is going to be the same 3.8 newton so you can write f equals to m a okay uh, 3.8 what is m 0 0.5 a you can use your calculator and you can write 3.8 over 0 0.5 and when you do that you'll get your answer as 7.6 meter per second squared so that's the magnitude of the acceleration so we're done with that and don't forget they asked for the magnitude of the acceleration that we have they also ask you for the uh, direction the direction is just opposite to the force f that we applied here so since we already have the value of tangent theta so if this is theta this will also be theta equal and opposite angles so since uh, we know tangent theta is 1 over 2 use a calculator and if you work it out half tangent 1 over 2 you'll get 26.6 degrees so you have an acceleration of 7.6 degrees excuse me 7.6 meter per second squared and it will be acting in a direction of 26.6 degrees with the x-axis and we are done